Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 16th, 2021. So my goodness, I hope this video finds everyone warm and safe as this cold snap um, races across the country, um, really slowing things down um, everywhere. Everyone's kind of locked down because of the nasty weather. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we take a look at some technicals, look at that price action, and see if we can determine how the market is going to treat us today. Let's prepare for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. I hope everyone is safe and I hope you're all warm. This has been uh, quite a cold snap uh, running across the country, but those bulls are not slowing down whatsoever this morning. As you can see, these bulls are all kinds of fired up and they were fired up all night in the futures markets. And you can see that we are looking at a substantial gap up this morning um, as the bulls continue to push on through. So we're uh, just fired up big time here this morning. Bulls pushing to new record highs in the Dow. And if we take a look at our trend, our trend continues to remain quite bullish, as you can see, and we are continuing to extend this move higher. One thing that's interesting to note is that Europe is not doing the same thing this morning. European markets seem to have a little bit of concern. Um, they're being a little bit more cautious today, um, worried about this global rally extending. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. But right now, U.S. markets don't have such a concern. It's just fire all the way higher. Um, bull, 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 run, 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 run. So watch that closely. Now, one thing I want to caution everyone on, although we have this very, very bullish trend, everything is copacetic here in the market. What you want to be careful of is chasing into a, um, a gap up open to new record highs um, with a fear of missing out. As a matter of fact, what you might want to do is just kind of take a breath um, really focus in on the charts that you want to trade and be careful not to just rush right in because the possibility does exist of a pop and drop pattern. Remember, if we gap up here, we could set that new record high, but we could certainly sell off the rest of the day. So be careful chasing that. We don't want to see that classic pop and drop come into play. Here's a good example of one right over here. Gap up, new record highs, and drop the rest of the day. So you might want to consider that carefully as um, we head into that market open today. Let's just take a breath, pause just a little bit, and let's see if we actually get some follow through buying this morning after the morning open. Let's take a look at the SPY. Same thing is true in the SPY, SPY setting itself up for new record highs this morning, really stretching out here. Um, as you can see, bullish trend, definitely um, maintaining, sorry, my uh, drawing tools change there automatically. It drives me crazy when they do that. But as you can see, we have a, um, a very, very bullish trend. Everything's looking good, holding support levels. And we really have no worries here unless we start breaking some of that down. And right now, it doesn't appear like the bulls have any intention of stopping the buying frenzy that we've seen in this market since the first of the year just continues. Let's take a look at the QQQ. QQQ also setting up for new record highs this morning. As you can see that bullish candle showing in there gapping up this morning, holding up strongly in this trend. The trend is very, very bullish at the moment. And we've got some support levels in here. If we did catch a little bit of pullback that really wouldn't hurt us at all. So let's keep an eye on that. And once again, just be careful of that rush, um, that fear of missing out. You know, there's so much drama in the market open. And one of the reasons I do these videos is to, it, it honestly helps me. Um, I started doing this years and years and years ago and um, helped me in just 
focusing on the key elements, not getting caught up in the hype and drama of the day so that I made better decisions. It wasn't an emotional decision. It was a business decision that I was making when I stepped into that market arena in the morning. Preparing for the day is really, really important. And um, for me, that's when I look at something like this and say, hey, just take a breath, don't chase. It could be exciting, it could be great, could also turn out to be kind of an ugly if the sellers step in. So just watch that closely. One thing I do wanna point out is that we are starting to separate from our trend here a little bit as well. And when we see separation from a trend like that, we can also see that, that we, could, we could rest back up and pull back into that. Um, into that trend. So just kind of keep that in mind, I'm not suggesting that's going to occur, but that possibility does exist where we can just rest a little bit as well. It doesn't have to be negative or bears coming in. It could just be a little bit of a pause. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM has been extremely bullish this year. And as a matter of fact, I keep pointing out just how extremely parabolic this move has been. But I gotta tell you, um, there's bulls pushing in this as well, and we could easily see new record highs in IWM. And this uh, largely, uh, this morning is likely being pushed by higher fuel prices. Um, obviously this cold snap is creating massive demand around the country. And um, as I'm sure you've heard, rolling blackouts in several areas of the country because um, we don't have the, um, apparently we don't have the energy um, supply for such a huge demand. Um, something to think about when we're thinking about going to wind, solar, and things like that that cannot provide peak demands. But um, keep an eye on um, IWM because with the oil sector stocks pushing higher, this um, could easily gain, garner that support to hit new record highs um, this morning as well. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX finally is starting to show a little bit of, well, what we should be seeing when we're setting new record highs. We should be seeing the VIX setting new lows. And you can see on Friday, we had that nice little pullback. We didn't really quite crack all the way down, but it is nice to see that that little uptrend has been um, beat and that we are starting to see a failure of this little area here so um, th with this morning's gap up we may see that vix drop down now if that were to create the pop and drop if the market gaps up and then we end up selling off we could see that bounce right off of that and hold but just keep that in mind it's finally starting to make a little bit more sense seeing the vix down here as we set new record highs i really still believe we should be down here in the mid to low teens at new record highs but We'll, we've yet to see that. So we need that VIX to start breaking down a little bit. That would help us out too on the option side of things with prices um, of those options improving if that can continue. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And this thing has been elevated for a long, long time as this buying frenzy in the market continues. Now we had a little bit of pullback at the end of the week as you can see we drew down here just a little tiny bit but I suspect at the open this morning we're going to be pushed right up in here we could be right up here at the top really showing a major extension and that is another reason why you just might want to take half a beat and make sure that we get some follow-through buying this morning before jumping into trades. Just watch that closely. This is showing an extreme overbought condition for the short term and um, could easily, you know, warn us it doesn't necessarily signal us that the bears are about ready to come into play but it does warn us of that possibility and we should just be focused and on our toes just in case we do see um, that little bit of pushback in the market so watch that carefully let's take a look at t2101 now t2101 um has been elevating on the rally, which is a good sign, I think, elevating on the rally, but we may have kind of reached an upside limit here um, just recently. We could experience, um, I'm sure you've all heard that 
that term blow off top. Now, I'm not going to suggest today is that blow off top, but anytime I see a gap up to new record highs, it makes me think about that possibility where everyone who's going to get in is in um, and then there's nothing else to follow through with. Once again, I am not suggesting that is what's happening today, but it does make us perk up and pay attention and we should watch that closely. So kind of keep that in mind, that market breadth has been holding up. Um, we need to break through this um, downtrend in that market breadth if we're going to stay up and notice on Friday, we actually ended up with a little bit of pullback in that price action breadth. So uh, we'll see, we'll watch that carefully as, um, as we move along. We could see a little bit of over elevation here very easily. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, well, we've got a couple of things that we're going to want to pay attention to. And, and literally this week, we have a massive, massive calendar that we're going to have to deal with. Um, take a look here. Today, we don't have a whole lot. We've got Empire State Manufacturing comes out at 830. Um, may or may not move the market much at all. Don't know that we really need to uh, pay attention to that too terribly much. We have Fed Speaker out here talking, and we have um, the Treasury International Capital um, report later on today at market close. I doubt that's going to affect us. But let's take a look at the rest of the week. Oh my goodness, we have a busy week. We've got PPI. We've got retail sales, industrial production, business inventories, housing market index, and the FOMC minutes coming out tomorrow. That is a pretty uh, full meal deal, um, as well as some Fed speakers. So keep in mind, all of these are market moving events, except maybe the business inventory and housing market. These are potential market moving events, and you'll want to think about that as you plan your risk forward into Wednesday. We follow that up with housing, jobless claims, Philly Fed, petroleum status on Thursday, PMI composite and existing home sales. We're really getting a pile on here of market moving events this week. So stay on your toes and stay focused. It's a good reason to believe that we could uh, continue to see considerable price volatility in the market. Um, also, we have a pretty big earnings calendar this week. We've got uh, around 80 companies reporting earnings today. And you may want to um, take a look at some of the stocks that are um, going to be reporting today. Now, I have a list of the notables in the description of the video below, um, right underneath the title. You can um, click on that. It goes right back to um, the morning blog if you want to see the entire list. I can't cover them all today, but let's take a look at a few of these that we will be reporting. We have AAP, um, Advance Auto, will be reporting today. Let's keep an eye on that. Looks like we're getting some price volatility in that uh, chart this morning. You can see we've been in an obvious downtrend and we're struggling with a little bit of resistance. And this morning's candle, we shot down and trying to lift back up. So maybe a rejection of that low. Watch that closely this morning. We also are going to hear from AIG today. AIG will be reporting. Notice that we've been pushing some highs in this chart. This can serve as a very bullish pattern where we push up, consolidate. If we get that good earnings report, we could push on through. Um, unfortunately, it can also serve as this pattern of a big old double top pattern. So all depends on how that earnings comes out, how the market responds to that. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, uh, BYD, Boyd Gaming, um, very, very strong. We've been seeing a tremendous rally in these casino stocks moving up. And I noticed on Friday, there were quite a few bullish patterns in these cons uh, casino stocks. And as you can see, moving up in a beautiful trend, we've already broken through this resistance high. So no double top problem here, consolidating that move. Let's watch for that earnings report, see if that can perk us up um, on that chart. We're going to get... Um, Report from Denny's today. Let's keep an eye on that. Now, I assume restaurants are continuing to struggle here just a little bit. 
um, in COVID season. But let's take a look at this. As you can see, Denny's has been rallying hard here. And um, let's watch for that earnings report, see how we respond to that. Um, EXAS. EXAS has been in a beautiful upside trend, a little bit choppy. And we're dealing with some price resistance here. Notice on Friday, we had a nice bullish candle heading into earnings. It looks like we're trying to follow through just a little tiny bit this morning. Let's watch how and see how that responds to that earnings report. We will get, um, how about some Lazy Boy? Lazy Boy is struggling here with the potential of a lower high. We had this big old shooting star top, actually an evening star pattern that formed right here on the chart. And now we're threatening a, a similar type pattern with a lower high here in Lazy Boy trying to deal with some resistance. So this earnings report will be very, very important here. Watch that closely. Um, we've got a few oil sector stocks, OXY will be reporting Occidental. It's been very, very strong, uh, moving up solidly. And with the this cold snap and all the demand, you can see we're getting a nice push up this morning. Look for those energy stocks to continue to surge higher, finding out that, oh my gosh, we may not have um, the energy requirements we need for the United States during these major cold snaps. So watch that close. So there's a few stocks. What I want to do is encourage you to go back to the blog, take a look at that full list if you're interested of those companies reporting. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And remember guys, these are not about providing hype or prediction or anything like that. They really are meant to help you focus in on the technicals, the details of the charts for the day and really determine how you want to approach the market for the day. And if you feel this video was helpful to you, please do me a favor and click that uh, thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and um, that helps us continue to go grow. And also, please feel free to share these videos out there on any of your social media platforms. Let's take a look at um, um, some of these stocks setting up. And keep in mind, everyone, that whenever I talk about one of these stocks, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell a security. As a matter of fact, um, what I really want to encourage everyone to do is do your own due diligence. Make sure you're following your rules and your plan. Everyone has a different risk tolerance, and it's never, ever a good idea to blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look. TDOC. I've been keeping an eye here on TDOC. This this is a pretty interesting pattern in the chart. As you can see, pushing up, we've been holding up very, very strong here in this trend. And I'm looking for that opportunity that that could push on through here on TDO, TDOC. Now, keep in mind, everyone, that I also um, have a little concern that we might be running this trend just a little bit too hard, too fast. But that being said, that's a very bullish chart looking pretty good. Keep an eye on TDOC. Um, Etsy, Etsy, you guys know I mentioned last week on Friday that pushed on through looking good. Now what we want to do is we want to watch carefully to see if that can continue to follow through. Looks like the pre-market candle is trying to suggest that we're going to move on up. Don't be surprised if we have to rest a few more days in here um, contact that trend a little bit before it takes off. But keep an eye on Etsy. It's been very, very strong this year. No reason to believe that is not going to continue. Take a look at JIMA. JIMA, I've mentioned this one several times. We've continued this consolidation over to trend. Let's watch this closely and see if we get that reaction in here and start to extend off of that trend. Keep a close eye. JIMA looking pretty good. I got to say, we need to keep an eye on these little retailers. Retail has been holding up 
quite well in specific areas. And take a look at Kohl's. Kohl's breaking through this resistance level in the chart. Just a nice little tight consolidation suggesting no one wants to sell it yet. So keep a close eye on this. This is going to report on 3.2 and we have that opportunity that this could start to extend up toward that earnings report. Keep an eye on Kohl's. Um, I want to mention some of these um, uh, gaming stocks, Penn National. This is a beautiful little pattern. Notice breaking through this resistance up here and then pulling back, holding that support. Beautiful bullish engulfing candle here right off of trend and support. Those are signals that I love. And seeing that beautiful pattern, we're seeing some bullish action in here this morning trying to push through. Once again, don't be surprised after that nice pop that we could just rest a little bit back over here to trend. But keep an eye on that gaming stocks. Um, a lot of the gaming stocks are looking very, very good and looking very, very strong. Take a look at Solo. I've been keeping an eye on Solo, but unfortunately Solo kind of is struggling here a little bit more than I would have expected. And I've mentioned this one several times as a bullish possibility. It's not out of the woods yet, but there still is that possibility that we will contact the support in here. We seem to be slipping our trend. Now, of course, I could draw that trend just a little bit differently, um, encompassing the tails of these two candles here and that keeps us in that trend but let's watch that closely we need to see a little bit more bullish action in here if this is going to perk up and come on up out of there so watch that close looking pretty good overall one thing i want to mention now this is a chart that i'm holding and um i gotta tell you i'm pretty pleased with this trade so far uh, TBT keep a close eye on this we are seeing bond prices starting to creep up and um, there is some suggestion that the Fed may lose control of this um, watch that closely here's the weekly breaking this major downtrend pushing on up TBT looking strong now once again I have a bias here I'm holding this trade but it's looking pretty darn good so keep a close eye on that another one I want to mention that I am holding and I just um, honestly cannot believe how this thing is performed. I've been holding this with a long-term option. I'm actually in the January 2022 um, series. I've been holding this for some time. I'm currently up. It's hard to even mention this because, and this is just one of those once in a lifetime things that occur. And I've been selling calls against this and uh, because of the high implied volatility, it's been a very, very profitable trade up more than 4,000% on space at the moment and take a look at this pattern what's interesting in here is space we don't seem to have any um, follow-through selling we cannot even though we're kind of stretched no selling in here now we could consolidate across this area for a long period of time because of such a steep rally but with the bulls that we have in the market right now willing to chase about anything, it's also possible this could extend on higher in that chart. Now, I will tell you to for full disclosure here, I have sold the 60 strike options against this trade, and I am more than willing to be called away if this pushes on through. But um, just for full disclosure here, I'm thinking this may rest or consolidate a little bit more. So watch that closely, but space looking very, very good as a chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Um, keep those heaters cranked up. Stay warm, everyone. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you all the best.